All right, now Underworld Dawn, Daud Ibrahim has been hospitalized in Pakistan's Karachi due to serious health issues. As per Pakistan media reports, there's been speculation that he could have been poisoned, but there's yet no confirmation on the same. Daud Ibrahim is being kept under tight security inside that hospital. He's the only one, only patient rather, on the entire floor. Only top officials along with uh, his close family members are allowed in on that floor. Uh, but is he, has he been poisoned or not is uh, clarity that we need to get yet. But what we know is that he is in a critical condition. Daud Ibrahim, who is Indian citizen, hai, Javed Miyadad, who is our cricketer, he is a member of the family and he is telling him that someone has given him a disease. And now his condition is very bad, or his condition is very critical condition, he has been kept in the hospital. Mein rakha gaya hai. یقینا ان چیزوں کے اوپر بات چیت نہ ہو سکے ان چیزوں کے اوپر کوئی کچھ کہہ نہ سکے اس چیز کو لے کر جو ہے وہ یہ ساری سروسز ڈاؤن کی گئی ہیں ہو سکتا ہے مطلب ایک امکان یہ بھی ہے کہ ایسا نہ ہو لیکن لگ یہی رہا ہے کہ ایسا ہی کچھ چل رہا ہے ورنہ اچانک سے اس خبر کے آتے ہی ٹویٹر بھی نہیں ہے یوٹیوب بھی نہیں ہے اور گوگل سروسز پاکستان میں ڈاؤن ہے Okay, let me cut across to Gaurav Savan joining us for more on that. Gaurav, uh, uh, for the last few months, we've heard of several cases of this nature uh, where top terrorists are wanted, the, India's most wanted terrorists, rather, who are taking shelter in Pakistan, are being one after the other targeted, many of them hospitalized, some of them dead. Uh, give us more on Daud Ibrahim. Do we know if uh, this talk about him being poisoned is true? How far can we buy that? So as of now, there is no official confirmation um, and which is very unlikely even from Pakistan on uh, Daud Ibrahim Kaskar's status. Uh, it does remain a fact uh, that uh, there is chatter in Pakistan uh, on their social media. Some of their uh, YouTubers and journalists have been talking about it. But they're also saying that uh, there are two things which are very curious. One, this information that he's been hospitalized and an entire floor apparently at a Karachi hospital has been taken over. No one's being permitted uh, to enter or leave uh, on, on that floor, point one. Point two, uh, internet services completely down across uh, parts of Pakistan, uh, especially Karachi, uh, whether it's YouTube or internet. Uh, but then what we're also being told, this could well be because uh, of, an, of a call by Pakistan Tehreek Insaf Party uh, for a virtual rally and asking people from across the country to come together against uh, what they call is an occupation government either uh, uh, or, or the military uh, against the army. So Pakistani military is not very comfortable with a massive rally happening across the country and may have switched off uh, access to internet uh, as some of the YouTubers or journalists have put it. But as far as India's internal uh, intelligence agencies are concerned, they too are trying to ascertain Daud Ibrahim Kaskar's family in Mumbai. Uh, India today reached out to family members uh, and relatives. They too are only hearing of rumours and information. No official word there, Nabila. Well, it's certainly shocking and looking at the series of attacks on uh, these most wanted terrorists, it, it, uh, several questions being raised on if there is a secret assassination bid that's being carried out, who's behind this? Uh, Robinder Sachdev, strategic affairs expert, uh, is joining us live. Gaurav, I'd hand it to you. Please uh, do take it through. Dev, how do you look at these, um, uh, these, these developments uh, in Pakistan, what the YouTubers are talking about, what the journalists are talking about? Daud Ibrahim Kaskar may have been uh, either poisoned or because of food poisoning is, is hospitalized. What, are you, what do you make of it? Uh, in fact, you know, I think you very clearly indicated what you think, and I would think also the same. The point is, these are two separate things, maybe. One, you know, Daoud Ibrahim may be poisoned, or it could be something as innocuous as poisoning on its own, you know, or poisoned or whatever it be. If he is in a hospital, that's one. To link it with the fact that the internet in Pakistan is down due to this, I actually doubt it. I think it's more because of the call for virtual rally by Imran Khan that there could be a clampdown, shutdown of internet services, right? So I think, uh, I mean, whosoever is speculating, we are also, but it will be quite a stretch to think that due to this incident and Pakistan government doesn't want this to be known, Pakistan has clamped. But the you know, fact would remain, 
that Pakistan government would be very apprehensive. They wouldn't want information about Daud Ibrahim Kaskar coming out in public domain, even though it is Pakistan's worst kept secret. He lives in Clifton, Karachi. His daughter is married to a Pakistani cricketer uh, Javed Miyadad's son. The fact that he runs an entire transport and, and uh, construction empire in Pakistan is quite well known. What can you tell us about Daud Ibrahim's financial empire across Pakistan and apparently uh, he's investing money of half of Pakistan army if the grapevine is to be believed? No, absolutely. So, so definitely Pakistan doesn't want this to be said that, uh, you know, Daud Ibrahim is in Karachi, is in Pakistan, despite apparently including our intelligence confirmation and on the ground in Pakistan, you know, the social YouTubers and all, etc. As to his financial... Uh, you know, webs and all. I do think that uh, from party, what you said also, they are extensive. They run into Dubai, they run into India, Bombay, not even the financial, but also extortion, right? Running into Thailand uh, and his, you know, four deputies. See, another indicator to this whole episode saga will be if there is some kind of, a, you know, tussles break out between his underlings. Because let's say he be gone, who becomes the de facto head of the D company now? So one could assume there'll be a tussle. So that could be another chatter or another intelligence to look out for to confirm that this gentleman is, of course, uh, above and beyond. Now, back to the financials. Yes, uh, within Pak, see, he, he has mastered the art of, you know, laundering, smuggling and all between Dubai and India. He's been, in a way, a pioneer, one could say, you know, in these things. Dubai, so with that India, extension... Uh, uh, Af parts of Africa, an empire that spreads across Nairobi, uh, an empire that has uh, multiple houses in the United Kingdom, and despite, despite UK uh, having strong laws, uh, when it comes to money laundering and buying property, whether it's the Russian oligarchs or Pakistani generals or Pakistani political leadership or Daud Ibrahim's henchmen, they are heavily invested in, uh, in the United Kingdom, Mr. Sajdeva. Oh, absolutely, exactly. You know, so having this vast network and entangled in these networks, uh, you know, including human trafficking, could be narcotics also. So it's but obvious that the Pakistani elite, those who want to, you know, kind of uh, take away their money, take the money out of Pakistan or receive their monies outside Pakistan itself and then bring a portion into Pakistan and keep a portion invested, be it in properties in South of France or Dubai or penthouses or whatever. He would be and he is a very useful useful tool and that is another reason that you know the elite of Pakistan want to keep him uh, let's say say secure away from prying eyes because he's serving a purpose for them including with respect to anti-India activities. So it started with anti-India activities the 1993 Mumbai blast in which 257 people were killed over 700 injured. 13 blasts across Mumbai um, over a period of time. Daud Ibrahim Kaskar, Tiger Memon, Yaqub Memon, all the planters of those explosives. The fact that a bomb was found on a scooter at uh, Tiger Memon's residence, the evidence against Daud Ibrahim is clear. It's a shame Pakistan has taken no action against him from 1993 till 2023 it's actually a shocker that pakistan remains a state sponsor of terror from daud ibrahim to hafiz said to masood azhar mr sajdeva well, absolutely, totally. I mean, Pakistan remains a haven, uh, a refuge of sorts for uh, s s such, you know, such individuals who are absolutely inimical to India and Pakistan keeps on denying that. The point is that, I mean, what to say, you take it, I mean, Osama bin Laden, right? For example, even he was being harbored in Pakistan, hardly a few miles away from one of the headquarters, right? So Pakistan is actually quite adept at playing these games and... Even be it, you know, UN proscribed terrorist or India designated or even the US designated, Pakistan does harbor and Pakistan somehow manages to get away with it. I mean, with respect to India, you know, it turns a blind, you know, it turns a, uh, it creates a wall. But even international institutions, when yes. they ask, Pakistan does not, does not move an inch. It does not move the needle. In fact, uh, you're absolutely right for joining me here on India today, uh, Mr. Sajdeva. Many thanks, uh, Nabila. The fact remains, Pakistan has harbored not just terrorists like Daud Ibrahim Kaskar, who's a US-designated international terror financer, but a number of terrorists and sleeper cells who are actually active 
in the United Kingdom. The 7-7 London bombing traced yeah. back to Pakistan. Uh, David Coleman, Hedley and Tahawur Hussain Rana, lashkar e taiba sleeper cells in the United States and in Canada who can try to carry out a terror attack in Denmark. It just goes on to show Pakistan remains the epicenter of terror. That terror that starts with people like Daud Ibrahim Kaskar, Hafiz Saeed and Masood Azhar. Well, it, and it's certainly shocking, Gaurav, to see that there have been 18 such attacks on these designated terrorists, all of them who've carried out anti-India terror activities, 18 deaths since over the last two years, and 16 of them starting from February alone. Speaking of Dawood Ibrahim, the kind of clout that this man holds, it's uh, shocking to say the least that someone could have even attempted to attack him in Pakistan, which is known to be his bastion. And to give you a little uh, perspective on uh, Dawood Ibrahim and his whereabouts in Karachi, Pakistan, uh, he's said to be someone who has huge control on the, Pakistan, on the Karachi airport in Pakistan and has many houses spread across Karachi. That includes the White House in Clifton, Karachi. He also has homes in different areas, including 30th Street, Karachi. Also, uh, residence number three, we believe, is in Defense Housing Authority in Karachi. Uh, residence number four, we believe, is in Nurabad, Karachi. Another fifth residence of uh, Dawood Ibrahim is said to be in Mehran. In fact, uh, that's one in Mehran Square, Clifton, in Karachi. Uh, his other residence is supposed to be Shiri in Jinnah Colony uh, in Clifton, Karachi. And yet another one, the seventh residence, likely in Margalla Road, Islamabad. So this is Dawood Ibrahim's uh, clout that he holds in Pakistan, Karachi, Karachi Airport, we believe. He has a great hold over. Uh, so who comes in, who goes out, especially to meet him, uh, we believe that... Daud Ibrahim is very well in control, but this is for the first time we believe if these attacks against him are said to be true, that he was indeed poisoned, then certainly there is a much bigger system working to get him, just like the 17, 18 others.